Levi, we're down here at Manor Boxing in Sheffield, is it Sheffield? Sheffield it is, yes. Um, and I come down to, to, to uh, catch up with you because you, it's not your first fight, but it's your debut for VIP. This you, is my debut for VIP and also my first fight in England. That's yes, probably, because yeah. you, you made your debut out in, was in it Belarus? Belarus. Belarus. Russia? Basically Russia, yeah, Belarus, yeah. <laughs> How did that come about? Uh, due to the lockdown up there, I was supposed to be Supposed to be boxing up on their um, Tom Frank undercard, um, Lord of the Flies, and when he's supposed to fight for his IBO yeah, uh, world yeah. title, um, that all got cancelled off due to COVID. When COVID first kicked off, mm -hmm. that there, and I had a few months out, then then um, end up that, that uh, proposition ended up coming off, so I took it because obviously there wasn't a lot coming off, and any anything coming off as in the full lockdown COVID up there, so I ended up yeah. taking it. You know what I mean? And. Um, as to boxing is you only you take chances and it was a chance we took and we come off on the door. Well, it was a great experience there, Yeah, it was a good, good experience. It was, um, well, it was a different thing in a different country, you know what I mean? I've been to Belarus before, so it was nice to see. But well, see well, listen, a nice little tick in a box, it was it was nice for your debut. Especially my debut, um, I got COVID as well. <laughs> <laughs> I'd stay in the room for a week, that was a good one. Um, I still had a little boxing, I didn't box 100%, but I thought, listen, I did enough than that, I got the win. But, um, I feel like I'm boxed 100, 100 more times better well, than well, I was How old would you have been then? Because you're only 20 now, so what would you have been, 18? Just turned, nine, 19? Just turned, just turned 19. Then. Yeah. It was on, um, I turned 19 in September time, mm -hmm. and then I boxed in the, uh, uh, November. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? So it wasn't, it was just still young, innit? So, so now we're, we're, we're going to get you out on February the 26th, 26th yeah. at uh, Leeds uh, um, Royal Armoury. Yeah. Uh, cracking venue, we went there back in November for the first time. Um, good card, good top of the bill. Yeah, um, good top of the bill, good fight. Got one of your local lads, uh, Razzy. Uh, yeah, Raz. Yeah. Yeah, it's a as well. A, yeah, I was going to say, you've done a few rounds yeah. with him, haven't you? A few rounds, yeah. Uh, Raz definitely, he definitely get, brings the best out of you. He's tough, comes forward, you know what I mean? And, We've always got a few good rounds off, do you know what I mean? It's a good experience for Andros as well. Mm -hmm. I mean, because he's never been, but fights his hands has always been title fights and always been um, good, because he's fought for 10 and 12 rounds, do you know what I mean? Obviously. Yeah, I, do you know, it first came to my notice, um, because him and uh, Zaid have, have fought once before over 10 rounds, of food. I don't think there was anything on the line, it was supposed to be a, a Commonwealth eliminator or something, but he first came to my attention because Zaid wasn't with us then, when he fought in the, uh, he was a, a last minute replacement in the uh, golden contract, wasn't he? Yeah. That's yeah. my Annie Box um Tyrone McCulloch. Tyrone McCulloch. Yeah. And all the answers we've made off the home top class like and, and no one's stopping them yet, you know what mm -hmm. I mean? So and, and you can't hear him, you can throw it you can throw him the, underneath the kitchen sink and he's yeah. he takes it and keeps coming forward, you know what I mean? So that's gonna be a good top of the bill. Good, uh, yeah. and like I say, great for you to, to make your VIP debut and this yeah. time down here and I've just been watching you on the bag and doing some pads and you look nice and sharp, mate. Yeah, it's a bit of a relaxed night, comfortable night for me, you know what I mean? Just Tapping the lady at me. So how's preparations gone well for this, and then how long have you known, and how long? When did you actually put pen to paper with with Steve Woods? It was just before Christmas time. You know what I mean? We put pen to paper with him, right. and um, he said we'll try and get out soon as. You know what I mean? And and he did. He's, he's delivered what he said. You know what I mean? And that was very nice for him. And um, what do we get the news? What news in there about, about Christmas time as well? Yeah. So it was just before Christmas we signed up, and it was over Christmas in the in the month. That, uh, we found out that we've been boxing rather in January, February time, maybe March, and uh, it's coming up with the date in February the 26th. And um, yeah, so I'm just looking. I was taking over Christmas, it's not too hard, do you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. I, I'm enjoying the group of people. You look like you're all on some way anyway. So, what are you going to be fighting? Are you going to be, what's this going to be, 10 stone this fight or something like around that, Mark? Around about 9 stone, something, do you know what I mean? Yeah. I, I'm a. Uh, I would say I'm about just short of 10 stone now, do you know what I mean? I'm weighing about in kilos, 64 and a half, do you know what I mean? I can get to 60 kilos easy, you know what I mean? So, so what's 60 kilos? Is that 9 stone 9? Is that lightweight? Be lightweight, yeah, but that, that you, would you, be the You make yeah. lightweight then? Yeah, I make light. I can, I can make light here, do you know what I mean? Again, mm -hmm. but uh, for a few fights, I'm making light. So at 20, you don't really have to worry about that too much. You give yourself another 12 months in the pro game and then maybe assess it where you're gonna, what way you're going to stay at and, and try and fight titles at. Yeah, that's. Well, when the big fights coming off and I start getting them rounds and that day, that's when I'll be uh, putting it more in. Do you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. For this time of year. But this gym, it's, it's I mean, you know, I've never been here before. Um, it's, it's talented, isn't it? It's a tiny, yeah. tiny little gym. 
and you, you've got kids here that are all mixed levels because you know you've got Lee Connolly trains out of here, you've got Kazasane who trains out of here, yet you've got little Dante Dixon who's six and always a pro, he's yeah. now, you know what I mean, hopefully in a, in a few weeks he's going to be two and always a pro. Yeah. Um, <laughs> but then you've got some, I just spoke to two kids, who was a kid with the glasses on, he got to the finals that's, of the uh, Oh, Dermot, I spy him now and again that day. He's good to spy well, now and again, all, most times, what I mean. Right, little Clark Kent, isn't he? Well, <laughs> not so little, I mean, he's a big Clark Kent. But when he, he's got his glasses on, he looks like a like a, a, a quiet boy, doesn't he? Yeah, he looks soft and quiet. You get him in the ring, he's not. Yeah, no. Um, no, he's good to spy himself, but awkward, tricky, do you know what I mean? And a tough kid as well, yeah. again, you know what I mean? And you can do a round, we do rounds after rounds, you know what I mean? Where we spy Dante as well, do you know what I mean? He, he, he switch at a. Do you know what I mean? We're both fans, you can hit, do you know what I mean? And he's good. Um, also, we've got um, Sheldon McDonald. Oh, is that the, the kid you were on the, the bag with? He's the kid I was on the bag with. What's yeah, his too. name again? Sheldon McDonald. Sure, I spelt his last name right. Yeah. Yeah. I was going back in his t shirt, so yeah. I can check that out. <laughs> yeah. well, he's a big lad. I don't know what way he's yeah. a fire. I'm sure he's. Um, it's not crew. If it's not crew, I think it might be like every other cruiser with. And what is he? Is he an uh, amateur or pro? He's pro now. Oh, is he right? right? He won the, uh, I'm sure it was the novices, he won the novices. He only had a few uh, amateur fights and he, right. he was unbeaten as them. And now he's unbeaten as a pro. Right? Yeah, I think he's 2-0, 3-0. So this, this, this little gym that you're training out of, could be making a bit of noise in the next, what, 18 months time? Could be, yeah. I think we are. I think we're going to get nicknamed as the Jukebox Boys. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, I say, um, who was the, the young Asian kid on the bag with the purple gloves on? What's his name? Oh, come on, you dream, Mikhail. Mikhail. <laughs> yeah, he's mm. he's a good kid, I believe, isn't he? Won shitloads of titles. He's, he's six, a six kid. national titles. <laughs> That's a lot, of that, isn't it? Yeah, tell me about it. <laughs> six national titles. We, he gets thrown in with us, knee and I, for his weight, you know what I mean? He can handle us. We've been well, a bit. He's only forty-nine kilos, fifty kilos, or something. Yeah, something like just, that. just something like that. There, you know what I mean? But yeah, he can sit in and handle us. Uh, but he's that talent. Do you know what I mean? He's got the footwork and head movement up there. Do you know what I mean? So it's it, good. It's, it's weird how little places. Well, I'm saying that actually, it doesn't look that little from the outside. It's little when you get inside. This is a, a tardis in reverse because it's a huge building. In front of the outside of this building, it looks huge, doesn't it? Yeah, and then you come the door. And it's tiny, isn't it? So it's like you tied this in reverse. But um, like I say, um, I thought uh, when I was at Josh's place, uh, it was packed with talent there. But this place is doing, this is doing well, here, isn't it? It's just about the same size. Tiny, tiny little place, but producing quality, quality fires. Yeah, we're. Um no, we're all we're all hard work and lads and things up there as well, do you know what I mean? So we, we all want to as an amateur's not there, a few of us not there, we were all at the semis and finals, we've all stayed hungry, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And now it's the pro game and not there and we're all stepping up and up there, so now we're gonna we're all showing we actually all really are made up, do you know what I mean? And, and how far do you think you can go? Because from what I've heard, people are, are talking really highly of you. So how far do you think you can go? I think I can go as far as I can, but it's, it's if you want to put it in, and I want to put it in, you know what I mean? So, well, if you put it in and everything goes sweet, Steve manages to get everything. I guarantee I'll get a British title. Yeah. So, if I get a British, I can fight for a world, can't I? Right. Yeah. So, <laughs> well, I guarantee that I can fight we'll, for a world. We'll, we'll leave it on that. I'm going to be catching up with you as a. Uh, well, we'll be actually the way in one way on the uh, the 25th. 20, yeah. And um, we'll, we'll uh, have a quick catch up then. And hopefully, I'll be talking to you after the fight. And I'll be saying 2 0. 2 0, that's what we definitely. I mark your words as well. British champion in the middle. <laughs> Levi, Thank you, you take care, mate. Bye. Thank you very much. Cheers.